Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be discussing the Palace collaboration with New Balance on the 991 Silhouette. This is in the Palace teal colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome in. Today we'll be discussing a palace collab with New Balance. This is on the 991 Silhouette, one of my favorites. So really excited to do this unboxing, talk about size and fit, followed by how I style this really outdoorsy, but yet bold and bright and colorful sneaker. And then we'll conclude with how well these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. It has been a minute since we have actually done a New Balance Palace collab on the channel. I think it was last year, actually, the last uh, one we talked about was the New Balance 580 silhouette, which did have some similar tones in the sense it had that uh, kind of tealish tone, maybe a little bit lighter than this one, uh, but it has been a while. So I was really stoked when I saw that Palace was going to be yet again doing another collaboration with the New Balance team. This did release in two different colorways. So this is the Palace Teal. It did also release in a Palace Purple Tone. I decided that this was kind of my favorite out of those two color combinations. This, for some reason, I don't know, it just, it reminds me of the Pacific Northwest. I feel like these are kind of the colors I would wear when I would go hiking back in the day. Young Marissa hiking on trails. I literally lived in a community where all we did growing up was hike up mountains, check out waterfalls, go fishing, tent or build tents, sleep in the tents, camp overnight, you know, good old outdoorsy stuff. Uh, but anyways, I really, really love the fact that they decided to go with the 991. This is actually the first time Palace has done this specific silhouette. So really excited that they did this. I think this is definitely a more popular silhouette in comparison to that 580, though I did love the color combinations that they slapped on the 580. I'm definitely vibing with the Palace teal for this one. I think that this just really cool teal tone really pops with purple teal and purple have always been just some of my favorite color combinations used so i love that they decided to kind of go and blend that in with some more neutral palettes so on the front you're seeing this high quality leather in this light brown tone and then this typically on the toe box would be mesh but they actually swapped that out for this kind of nylon ripstop material that's actually waterproof so honestly this would be a very good outdoorsy sneaker specifically for seattle because it does rain a ton there and this is waterproof so it would be protected we also have these really cool custom duprays here that have the p next to the 991 in that teal tone and then we've got kind of some nice golden tan laces, which really pop off of that ripstop nylon material in teal. As we work our way up, we've got some beige tones and then Palace is stitched nicely in purple and then New Balance 991 is in a nice clean white tone. Let's take a look at those details. Actually, before we take a look at those details, we do have some extra lace sets here uh, in this teal tone. So you can swap these nice neutral tones in with some more color. Palace this is also on the lace tips for that nice subtle branding. All right, so now let's take a look at those details.
All right, so wrapping around to the side panels, we are getting all of these amazing different high quality materials used on both the lateral and medial side of the sneaker. The N is in a nice pop of leather in purple outlined in that teal tone. And then we've got underlays of this light tan khaki-ish tone for the suede and then more of that waterproof ripstop nylon material. As we get to the bottom, we've got more of a beige tumbled leather underneath and wrapping around to the collar, we've got that purple and teal hitting the top of the collar. Working our way to the back, we have that nice light textured uh, suede on the collar and underneath more of that really nice supple tumbled brown leather and subtle branding for Palace on the back. And we've got uh, the rest of Palace, so it's kind of separated. P-A-L on one side and A-C-E on the other to spell out the full brand. On the interior, we've got Palace in green and the insole is in black. Then New Balance is uh, in white with performance insert in white as well. Wrapping around to the lateral side of the sneaker, we've got those same textures as well as the same color combination. As we work our way to the midsole of the sneaker, we've got some black and purple, which wraps around the back of the heel to show the absorb technology. And then we've got some beige above that. Working our way to the upper portion of that midsole, we've got some gray and a little bit of pop of teal. And then the sneaker is completed with this black and teal outsole. We also have this really just nice quality leather on the interior here. You can really tell that they really just gave us some extra high luxurious material on the interior, which sometimes you just don't get with sneakers. So I love that they've added that on the collar as well as the side paneling on the inside, as well as the back of the tongue here is in that nice soft tumbled black leather, which is where we've got that made in England, made in UK. As you know, typically if it's made in UK, you're gonna be getting the highest quality possible. All right, now let's take a look at those last and final details. box goes we've got just a nice brown box and we've got the palace triferg logo that is intermixed with the new balance logo as far as size and fit goes i would say stick true to size on this one i am a seven and a half in men's and i feel like these fit me perfectly so if you do have higher narrow feet take your true to size if you have flatter wider feet that could differentiate something different just because we have different types of feet all right so now let's jump into how i style this really fun outdoorsy color combination for this look i definitely had to wear a piece of palace apparel so i decided to go with my palace hoodie that's in this nice natural tone but it also has hits of some color on it this chenille p definitely kind of complements the color tone and color blocking of the sneaker so this is a nice casual option and I paired it with some cargo baggy pants. to kind of dress it up a little bit with this really cool khaki canvas style trench slash pant dress. It's really cool the detailing on the top. It looks like they cut up some pants and use the top of a pair of pants to be the top of the dress. And I just feel like a minimalistic one tone will really complement this since there are so many color schemes going on throughout this. Thank you. 
for this look, I decided to wear this cropped trench coat and underneath I have a white bodysuit that's ribbed and then I wore some nice baggy kind of boyfriend denim pants. Definitely feeling like this kind of tone really just matches and complements lots of the upper and the laces of the sneakers. <laughs> This is a made in UK, so a little bit more on the pricier side, but understandable because of all the high quality materials they use throughout. But this retailed at $258 and it is currently, depending on your size, going between $300 to $450 on the resale market. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We'll catch you on the next episode. Yeah.